Hi and welcome to the Resources Roadhouse. I'm Wally Graham and I'm at the 2024 RIU Sydney Resources Roundup and I've got the pleasure this morning of speaking with Greg Bell from Astron Corporation. Now, um, Greg, new one for the Roadhouse. Uh, we haven't, you haven't uh, blipped up on our radar screen before, uh, but you seem to be uh, quite busy in Victoria, rare earths, mineral sands, filming in on the details. Absolutely, Wally. Uh, Astron Corporation Limited has the Donald Rare Earth and Mineral Sands Project. Uh, it's the fourth largest rare earth resource outside of China and the largest zircon resource in the world. Um, we're currently in uh, feasibility, we finished our feasibility study in 2023, um, which uh, showed an NPV of about 100, $852 million, um, on average revenue of $314 million. Um, we've got our major approvals already in place, so our environmental impact statement, um, our federal EBPC licence and we've got a granted mining licence, which puts us a little bit ahead of some of our competitors in the same area. Um, our processing is going to be conventional uh, and traditional mineral separation techniques and um, you know, we're really looking forward to getting started. All right, so uh, getting started, that's my next question, when do you, you sort of anticipate getting the shovels out? So we're in the middle of uh, negotiating a joint venture with a company in America called Energy Fuels who are going to provide us $180 million of startup capital um, and for a 49% interest in the, pro in the project and 100% rare earth offtake to feed their plant in uh, southern Utah. Um, we're currently trying to get our last approval which is the work plan with the, uh, through the Victorian government uh, which we're anticipating in the next you know, two to three months. Um, so we think a final investment decision sometime in late 2024. All right, so where you are in Victoria, is it sort of like, I mean, it, it, it's a pretty hard question to answer this one, but a historical sort of um, rare earths area or has it you know, uh, been known for mining other commodities? So Aluka did have some mines out in the western part of Victoria, uh, near Oyen and south of Horsham. Um, our resource is effectively part of the ancient inland sea, so wave motion has, uh, has settled the heavy minerals in, in this area. Um, and yeah, so there's a lot of, uh, there's been a little bit of exploration out there. Um, Rio Tinto or Consolidated CRA at the time, they did the exploration a long time ago in yeah. the 1980s. Right. Oh, okay. So it's just a, an interesting one to sort of pop up. And, well, for me, it's popped out of nowhere because, as I said, you, know, you haven't popped up on our radar screen before, but obviously you've been out there doing a bit of work and, and getting a lot of interest um, from overseas as well. Uh, yes, yeah, so obviously the rare earth component has been uh, really good for us in actually getting um, in helping with the project value because now with the dual revenue stream of, of mineral sands being zircon and titanium and the rare earth makes the project economics a lot more attractive. Yeah, you know, I mean, the mineral sands are they're in demand you know, for everything so you know, I mean a really important find. Absolutely, uh, I mean the zircon and titanium are consumer goods so paint, tiles yep. etc um, but the rare earths are really important for the decarbonisation of the economy through yep. electric vehicles, offshore wind turbines etc. All right, well, it sounds like you're uh, going to be quite a busy man over the, the next few years, and so uh, I I, I've no doubt there's going to be some uh, news flow throwing, um, coming through from Astron. So, uh, yeah, we'll keep an eye out. Make sure you keep an eye out with, of us. Let us know what's going on. Absolutely, will do. Thanks, Wally. Thank you very much.